Now to run this function, we could uh, just uh, say get our tick event, event tick, and then run this check on the tick. But the event tick, I see in a lot of videos, people using the event tick for things that are not really necessary. The event tick runs uh, once for FPS. This is good for physics, and it's also good uh, for animation. But if you're not doing uh, for this example, we're not working with physics or animation, so the, the tick is probably unnecessary. This is very costly on the on the CPU. So I'm not going to use the event tick, I'll show you an uh, optimized way of doing this. Might as well I'll show you the optimized way. Okay, so we already checked how the actor on screen function works. Let's check out how we can use something that is not as costly as an event tick, but um, gets the job done as well. We're going to go to begin play. I'm gonna get the begin play event, okay? And on the begin play, we this only happens once when the actor starts playing in the game. So on the begin play, I'm gonna do a timer. So a timer instead of the the tick. And I usually go for set timer by function name, right? And this code can call functions or events. So the event that we want to be calling is the event that is going to be checking if, if the actor is on screen or not. So let's say check actor on screen. Okay, so I'll just copy that and I'll right click. I'll know, I know that I'm going to have a custom event. So custom, add custom event and I'll call it custom event checked actor on screen. So this event is going to get called every, let's say, 0.1 seconds, which is 100 milliseconds. And I'll put it to looping. And I'm happy with that. I don't need an initial delay. So when this timer triggers, this event is going to get called. And I just want to make sure you guys understand what I'm saying. If I do a print here of saying hello, and I play my game, let me play in a simulated. You can see a low, a low, a low, low. Every 100 milliseconds, a low is going to pop out because this has triggered this timer, this timer once we started playing and the low has started uh, ticking. Now, I don't want to always check if an actor is on screen for, for this example. I just want to check if an actor is on screen if I have, for example, an enemy, a boss or something like that and I want my screen to update with the other actor. So I want to further optimize this. And the way I do that is by using an handle. Well, there's other ways of doing it. I can start and, and stop this timer another way, but this is the preferred way, the preferred method. If I promote this to a variable, and I'll, I'll call this check actor on screen timer handle because this is a timer handle and with this timer handle I am easily gonna be able to pause or start the timer so I'm setting the timer I'm getting an handle I'm saving that handle as a variable and now I can pause timer by handle okay so every time I want to start or pause this timer, I can use this handle and pull out a, a node from this pin and say pause or unpause timer by handle. So I can use these two nodes to start or stop the, the timer. So I would start the timer whenever I would unpause the timer to start it, whenever uh, I get to an enemy that I want to use this functionality for, or target, what actor, whatever the actor is. So basically now if I play, I get no allows because I paused the timer immediately after it was created.